Well, I got these electrodes, can't remember the exact price, um, but relatively cheap on eBay. Decided to try these things. One millimeter by 1.75 millimeters, 175 millimeters okay, length. Um, pretty much seven inches thereabouts. Supposedly, Thompson, 10 pieces, ground finish. Um, they're really, really fine. I didn't really think about it too much on us, but one millimeter is quite a small diameter. Anyway, this was intended to try building a plasma cutter, use this as a tip to generate the plasma so it doesn't actually um, corrode as fast. Uh, time does not permit. I'm probably going to take an assignment outside of my jurisdiction. So, yeah, the ability to actually have any equipment or make anything is probably going to be lost very shortly. So that's it. I'm going to try the dumbass approach. I'm going to take this, put this on a uh, ordinary low um, power well implant, 120 volt well implant, and try to strike arc here. See what happens. Theoretically, tungsten is the highest melting metal. Um, so theoretically, the arc would form here, and this should not melt. Um, it might. It's one millimeter. I'm not going to write the 60 amps for going to the lower voltage. I'm low amperage at uh, the low because that only has a min and max. So we're right at the min and try it. Just 10 of these. Um, the most that's going to happen is I'm going to lose one. Plant right now is set for electrode negative DC through the rectifier on the ground there. Um, two days to change it. Um, I'm not even sure this will work. Um, this looks like an ordinary metal rod. Doesn't look like anything special. Um, Thompson's supposed to be a little bit brittle. I don't know how well this is going to work. It's pretty long. Uh, a bit concerned about shooting it out on the other side before I touch myself. Um, yeah, it's going to be a dodgy little thing. Don't have someone to film the um, actual welding. So let me try it. Let me see what happens and I'll film the results. As I expected, it just pretty much melted at the tip. Tip got fine. See a nice at the edge there. Not sure if that's that visible. Um, but as much as it has a higher melting point, the fact of the matter is it's fine and it generates a high temperature. It stuck a few times and the whole thing got red as a normal welding rod does. Um, so yeah, nothing special, nothing great. Hopefully it really works for well. I don't even know if I'm going to get a chance to try what I wanted to try. Anyway, just to compare, I've got me some what we call cutlass wire, binding wire with some zinc coats in. Hopefully I don't breathe too much zinc, but yeah, there's a little small piece of wire. A little bit bigger in diameter as you could see but well, let's try this and see if it reacts any differently I pretty much react the same just having a look at the difference this is the tungsten here and nothing much stay on this is the cutlass wire here and it's sort of splattered on and bonded on uh, the wire melted um, and yeah being steel I guess it bonded this one didn't really do very much it just got hot and just vaporized or deposit slight amounts.